next video that we're going to watch is uh, it's basically about the struggles of life and if you watch listen and learn on this video it might help you out in life when I was 16, 17, 18 years old I woke up and realized that I was all alone in the world and nobody's gonna help me nobody's gonna do shit for me if I want to do something I gotta do it on my own and that is a situation that arises with a lot of people mostly all people that sooner or later you're gonna wake up and you're gonna tell yourself that I'm fucked I'm fucked in the ass I ain't got nothing going on in my life I'm fucking basically almost homeless and if I want anything in life, I got to do it myself. I'm gonna ask you a question. Is my fucking shop locked there? Did you check to see? Yeah, we locked it. You sure it's locked? Yeah, we locked Boy, it. Boy, I sure would hate to go somewhere and, you know, my shop get broken into because you didn't check to lock it. Dude, do you need to go check it? No, because you You locked, know for a fact that I locked the fucking door. You locked the door and then I fucking twisted the knob after so you. So you're did. definitely sure the door's locked? Yeah. I can go down the road feeling safe that Darren locked my shop. Yeah. So how old are you? I'm 19. 19 years old, huh? Can you speak up a little bit? Because I can't fucking even hear you talking. Well, goddamn. And we don't need to use the word Lord's name in vain. Oh. We don't do that over here at SWRC, but. Oh, yeah, this is a video, my bad. Well, we just don't do it. <laughs> Off or on video, that's bad luck, dude. Oh. You bad didn't luck. know that. No, I didn't know it was bad you luck. You didn't know using the Lord's name in vain is bad luck? No. Yeah, it's bad luck, dude. You shouldn't do it. Whether you believe or not, there's some politics for you, okay? okay. To think about. Okay. Do you see how politics work? Yeah. Okay, do you understand how politics fucking uh, work in your daily life of fucking living here? Are you listening now? Yeah. Anything and everything you do is a politic, dude. It's a political theory. I hire a lot of misfit people at my shop. Misfit people that don't know how to do nothing that have to work out of my fucking toolbox that basically come here and the only thing they know how to do is sweep the floor and take the trash out and I hire these people for a reason because I feel that if I hire this guy and he doesn't rip me off and he doesn't come to work with drugs in his body and, and alcohol on his breath there's a half a chance that this fucking guy can make something of his life and I can be part of that and be proud to say I helped this fucking guy do something. Now, we were talking about politics, dude. Yeah. Go ahead. Throw something at us. What do you fucking know? We're on Cork. C-O-R-C. You know what Cork is? No. Cusarama Cafe. Alright? What that's telling me is that you think you know something, and I think I know something, and whether you're right or I'm fucking wrong, it doesn't fucking matter, because my opinion counts, your opinion counts, and that fucking truck almost hit us. Yeah. Did yeah. you see that, bitch? Yeah, they That right there is a cork. That's yeah. where you say, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Do you understand now? Yeah. Now give me some fucking action here, all right? I'm not in a fucking good mood today, Darren. Well, yeah, the weather's bad. It's fucking raining and snowing out. We got fucking dump trucks. Uh, that uh, what's that fucking phone number? Looky here, dude. They took a fucking number off, so we can't even call them cocksuckers and tell them about this bitch. Yeah, I know it, man. Fucking bastards. But do we really need to be tattletales? No. Is that the angle here? Uh, no. My videos aren't really about cars. All right. Uh, I mean, I make videos about cars and. 
and we watch all the cars being painted and built and and this that and the other but they're more about the characters in the video and the life that these characters live and the struggles that are made on a daily basis. You don't need to be some fucking smart guy, book reading motherfucker to figure out what's left and what's right and what's up and what's down. Goddamn right. Okay, you just use God's name in vain again, dude. My bad. Sorry, SWRNC. Okay, we don't need to do that, dude. My bad. It's, it's a bad habit. Yeah, it is a bad habit. A habit that you need to fucking break. You know, cuss and say fuck, bitch, whore, motherfucker, cocksucker. But don't use G as a fucking word in front of it. Can you do that for me? Now, I got you on film saying yes. Let's fucking work on that, okay? I want you to look at this camera, and I want you to tell these people out there what the fuck is going on in a 19-year-old kid's brain that is going to make everybody wake up. Do it right now, 175, go, you're on. It's time for it. Everybody to wake the fuck up and get together because we can't do it by ourselves. Who's gonna get together, dude? Anybody that gives. You a think fuck. this guy watching this video wants to shack up with my friend Pete and hit the fucking pavement to Washington D.C.? You really think this fucking guy right here is gonna do that? Be honest. No. No, he's not. Fuck no, I don't. He ain't gonna do nothing. He's gonna sit there and watch these fucking videos and he's gonna laugh at us. He is laughing at you right now. He's laughing at you because he thinks you're a fucking joke. Okay? Yeah. Because he's looking at you saying, you don't know shit, kid. Shut up. What do you think of that? Huh? What do you think about this fucking guy looking at you right now, laughing at you? That's what I think about him. He's looking at you saying, you know what? You don't know shit, dude. You need to go back to school. That's what I think about him. You're rambling and rambling for no fucking reason. What do you think about that fucking guy right there? So that's your answer right that's there. No, Fuck I, you. No, no, I think my funny. answer, this is my Fuck answer. You. I don't think he knows shit, goddamn thing. I mean, shit either. I don't think okay. he knows shit. This either. is my answer, okay? Instead of going like this, you should say, instead of being a dick face, you ought to join up. Alright? Because it's people like you for the reason that we are in this situation now. That's my answer. Alright? It's the hater out in the world and the comedy act that laughs about the situation. That makes things worse in the world. And that's exactly what the government wants people to do. Can I say something now? Yeah, it's your turn. There's this many politics. Are you watching my hand? This is how many politics there are. And there's this many people. All right? Why is it that this many people will not do nothing to this many people? Right? Yeah, I'm ready. Why? I don't know. Okay, you just said, am I ready? No, I, I said right. Oh, I thought you said, are you ready? No. Okay, so you really didn't have nothing to say to that. No, I It's because I you were raised to follow the leader. That's why. You were raised to follow the leader. You were raised with a television in your face and a radio in your fucking ear and uh, music that's portraying fucking government issues, all right, in your fucking ear brain, and you were raised to be brainwashed to say, I am a follower. You were raised to say, I don't give a fuck. You were raised to say, fuck it. You were raised to laugh at it. You weren't raised to fight back. I try to make my videos where they're funny. I try to make my videos that have a little bit of comedy act but have a seriousness to them, and there's always a message. And it's not a message of how to paint your car. It's a message of you can fucking do it. You can actually fucking do it if you want to. And that's what this video is about. About this guy that is changing his life around and is doing it by himself. Not with anybody helping him. Not with any relatives paying his fucking way. He is doing it by himself. And I'm making sure that he's doing it by himself. Because when he grows up in the world and has really matured to be an adult, 
he's going to be able to look back and say, I struggled my way to where I'm at all by myself. Nobody fucking helped me. And I did it the way I wanted to do it. Because that's who I am and that's what I do. Living on a shoestring is what? Being broke is Working fucking. your fucking ass off and being broke every fucking day. Yep. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete over at Cork. We didn't make no sense today, but we threw out some answers that says, what the fuck was that, dude? That's a goodbye, man. Oh, okay. And maybe when Darren, uh, you know, gets his shit together and actually studies something about politics, he will be able to come back on Cork. Maybe there's a lot of people out there that would like to hear you talk about what you think about the fucking situation going on in the world. There's a lot of teenagers and a lot of kids your age out there that don't know jack shit about it and don't give a fuck. So maybe what you need to do is brush up on your fucking uh, situations and then say, hey Pete, I'm ready to get back on cork and tell you how it really is. Until that day comes, we'll see what happens. Okay? All right. So what does that mean? Okay. I will. So we're going to go into this video and it's not really a comedy video. It's not really a fucking video of anything but watching a guy come from nothing to something. Here we go. Let me get that out of there. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. So we're driving down the road, and it's been about nine and a half to ten months since you've been working at my shop. Yeah, man. So the first time that you worked at my shop, because this is actually the second go around, and the first time you worked at my shop, you were upside down, backwards, and inside out. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not really. You so. don't? Not really when you say that. I don't know what you mean by that. You had your head in your fucking ass, dude. Okay. You didn't know what the fuck you were doing. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Okay. Yeah, I had no idea. What you I came was. over there because you just wanted to have a fucking job. Because you could, probably couldn't get a job anywhere else. Am I right? You were hanging around with the wrong fucking crowd. You were in a relationship that sucked. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you're right. Okay. And we can go on and on about your personal life, but I'm not going to do it. So, you come over to my friend Pete's, I give you a fucking job, and I end up letting you go because of all the fucking drama of you and your situations. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. So, I basically forgot about you, and then you called me one day to see how my friend Pete was doing, randomly. And what did I say to you, dude? I said, why don't you come up here... Let's start working again. And you said, I didn't call you to get my job back. But if you want me to, I'll come back to work. So that means that I like you. Yeah, true. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say it, and you're probably going to get mad. You are not the quickest fucking learner in the world, dude. Oh, I know that. But, once you learn how to do something, you pretty much know what's going on. You're a little bit on the slow side, but that's all right. Everybody else in the world is slow at something in life. True. Where are you at now? Where's your standing in life today, bud? What's going on? You're talking about what I know around the shop? Now? No, I ain't. Fuck the shop. Where's my standing in life? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, now I'm still working with my friend Pete. Okay. S still learning shit, new shit every fucking day. All right. Uh, I'm in fucking community college right exactly now. and that's what i'm saying yeah I'm in community you're going college. to college you woke your fucking ass up you're getting all of your basics out of the fucking way so what can happen one day in your life make a lot of money no go to college 
and get some type of degree to make a lot of money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But you didn't have to throw money in there. That's you didn't have to say that, dude. Oh. Well, that's now. What, that's what you go to college for. I want for. you to tell everybody out there how you got yourself in college. Because you don't have mommy and daddy writing checks for you to go to school. No. You on your own, you're living with your girlfriend, you're barely fucking surviving. With a little bit of advice from my friend Pete, what did you do to get in school and have it paid for? And all I did was I got online and I filled out the FAFSA. What's that? What's FAFSA? FAFSA is like the federal aid application. That you didn't even know about. Yeah, I didn't even know about it. But I told you about it. Yeah, you told me about Me and many body shop girl Minnie woke you up and said this is what you need to do if you want to better your fucking life. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain everything about Darren. Darren left the house when he was 15 years old. Am I right? You're right. You basically quit school. You were on the fucking streets living in the gutter. We don't need to go into the situations of why you were doing that. It just happened. There's a lot of people out there it happens to. Alright. You're 20 years old now so you're still fucking alive. You don't feel sorry for yourself. You don't whine and cry. And and if something happens bad to you, you kind of brush it off your shoulder like, you know, that's life. There's nothing we can do about it but do better. That's basically what your attitude is. I've seen it a million times. Whereas most people out there that get into drama situations that you have being around me would have nervous breakdowns, would be a, an alcoholic or a drug addict by now. Yeah. So you get on to the FAFSA thing, you fill the application out, what? Then you go enroll in the school you want to go to. And Is it a lot of work to do that, dude? Uh, yeah, kind of. It's a lot of fucking legwork. Yeah, it's a lot of legwork. But what did you learn from that? Can yeah. I go ahead and say it and you can just agree with me? Yeah, I learned, or what? Go ahead. I that it's really not that fucking hard. It's, it's not, not that hard when you set your mind to it. Yeah, it's not that hard if you do it. And all the colleges out there, they fucking help you. They want you to be there. They help you succeed. That's right. They help there you. are your friends. Yeah, they help you fucking get Whatever it takes, they will get you in college if you want to learn. Your yeah. counselors are going to help you. Am I right? Yeah, if you want to be there, they'll fucking help now, you be there. Now, let's get into the real deal. Me and Manny told you how to go to college, and they... The government will pay t for you to go to college. It's called a government what? Pell Grant. It's a Pell Grant that you don't have to pay back as long as you use the money towards school. Exactly. Okay? Now, all amounts different, uh, de deficiate or whatever, between one person to another. Yeah, but the real deal is, is when I first met you, you would have never even thought about doing that because you were too busy doing your fucking drugs, playing your fucking guitar music, and hanging out with the wrong motherfuckers. What did I tell you when you first sat down and I had a talk with you about what the fuck's going on in your life? What was the first thing I said? I guess I said a lot of shit. Yeah, you did say a lot. Okay, one of the main things that I told you is you are who you hang out with. Yeah, you did you say hang that. out with fucking trash, you hang out with bums, you're going to be a fucking bum and you're going to be trash, and that's how you're going to be treated. Was I right or wrong? You are right, dude. So, nine and a half months, whatever, uh, how long have you been at my shop? Almost a year, not a uh, year yet. Not a year yet, but almost. You are now living with the girl that you love, you're out of that fucking bullshit relationship, your girlfriend's got an A number one child that treats you like his father, that makes you feel like a man instead of a little punk ass boy, am I right? right? Because the child looks up to you and respects you. Am I right or wrong here? You're right, dude, you're totally right. And you're getting your shit together by going to college and hopefully one day get the fuck out of paint and body work and be fucking having something to make money with and still play your guitar and have your little band on the side and fucking make something out of yourself. Yeah. That's the plan. Now, if you went and came to my friend Pete's shop with my guidance, not being arrogant, but everybody sometimes needs guidance in life. 
And yeah. if you don't have the right guide to guide you down the road, you're left in the world all alone, and you don't know what to do. Yeah, and then the world's just gonna fuck you. It's gonna suck you in and fuck you in your ass like a big giant telephone pole and laugh at you while they're doing it. Now, do you think you would be this far ahead in life because you've really came a long way from the first time that we filmed in my truck? Do you understand? Yeah. You remember that, don't you? Yeah. The first time that you filmed in my truck, you were sitting in that chair, slumped down, you had a coat on, and you looked to me like you were drugged out on heroin. And at that moment, I was ready, I was telling myself, fuck this shit. This guy ain't gonna work out at my shop. But instead, I stuck to my guns, and I said, no, I can't do that. I'm gonna let the motherfucker work here, and I'm gonna straighten his ass up. Now, do you believe by working at my friend Pete's shop, and me being the asshole that I am, and the drill sergeant cocksucker that I act out to be, helped you out in life to get to where you're at today? Oh, hell yeah, dude. And you haven't been an asshole about it, you've just been fucking pushing me. Which no. Which is what I needed to, to, That's I right. needed to be pushed to do shit. That's right. And you really helped me, dude, and like, I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. And I'm gonna tell you something else. This guy that you see right here, was a bag of shit nine and a half months ago. He straightened his life up. He's going to college. He doesn't fucking drink or do drugs anymore. He's got himself a little fucking situation over here that he's happy to be involved with, with his girlfriend and her baby. And all he does is go to work and go home and has actually opened his eyes up to the real world and said, this is what it's the real world's about. All that party shit, and all that fucking drinking, and staying out all night long, and getting fucked up, and don't know what the fuck happened the night before, is only going to do one thing to you, dude. Put you in the grave at an early age. Let me tell you something about Minnie. Minnie used to be a party girl when I met her. Every friend that Minnie used to know when I met her, 17 years ago, dead. are dead. Yeah. Every fucking one of them. All right? Now, that's not saying friends that I didn't know. I'm just saying the ones that I knew that she used to hang out with and she used to party animal with and all that are fucking dead. I never met anybody in my life that went to so many fucking funerals as many used to go to. It was almost, there for a while, it was like two or three a fucking year, dude. Yeah. Maybe four or five. Yeah, that's a lot. And you want me to tell you what woke Minnie's ass up? Not me giving her an option, me or you, me or the party. Seeing all her friends dying, woke. she finally woke up and said, what the fuck? I gotta fucking do something. Because I don't want to fucking die. Yeah. And that's what happens. If you stay in that fucking situation that you were in when I met you, you would be in that category of living a short life and hopefully not fucking dying. There's people that you think don't give a fuck about you that do give a fuck about you. But they aren't going to do nothing because they want to see you do shit on your fucking own. They want to see you go to the fucking school. They want to see you do your own paperwork. Fill your own shit out. Because that is what life's about. Not being a trust fund, baby. Not letting daddy pay your fucking way. But by getting off your lazy fucking ass and doing shit on your fucking own. We were talking about a guy. We're not going to mention his name. We're just going to say guy on the way out to the Mustang place. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He's a trust fund, baby. Good old guy. Yeah. Fuck. And you said, well, you know what? Guy's got a lot more stuff than we got. He's got a house. And he's got a truck. And he's got this and he's got that. Let me ask you a question. Do you really think that he's got as much as we got? No. No, he doesn't. You want me to tell you what he doesn't have? Huh? He doesn't have self he doesn't have any self-esteem. He doesn't have any self-respect. Okay? He doesn't have anything that to be proud of that says, hey, guess what? I fucking did this all by myself. No, he doesn't, dude. He doesn't have none of that. The only thing he's got is a selfish, inconsiderate attitude toward others 
Acting like the whole fucking And he world doesn't world. have any fucking friends except when he's got money in his pocket and he's flipping the bill. Exactly. So no, he doesn't have shit. Alright? He's got a check, uh, a guaranteed check every month that's telling everybody in the world, uh, at least I got a roof over my head and you know what? He's going to die a lost fucking soul. Nobody's going to give a fuck about him. And if he continues to be this way, and this is how trust fund babies are, they hand the same situation down to their children, then their children will turn out to be just like daddy. So, the real situation we have here is, Darren, 903 clown fuck, is an example to everybody watching this video that if you think you don't have nothing in life and you can't do nothing in life, what? You fucking can. Get up, do it yourself, light that fucking fire under your ass, whatever it takes to do that, do it. And don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't feel sorry for yourself. When don't you wake fucking up in whine the morning. and cry about shit because something happened. That's fucking life. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. You're one of the very few people I've ever met in my life that has drama shit going on in their life like you've had. And it's like, you know, yeah, I know what's going on, but what are we going to do about it? There's nothing you can do. There's very few people that got that talent, okay, that can take a seriously bad situation and stay calm through the whole thing until it all works out in the end. Yeah, because... That's an art, dude. The, That's an art that you have, okay? I, I learned that... When did you learn this, bud? I learned that... I didn't learn that. That was just natural, but... I learned... I, to help that, I also learned... The moment you have an emotional response... In a negative way to, to a negative situation... It gets worse. You lose absolutely all control over that situation. And then you're really fucked. If you think you were fucked before, and you have emotional response to it, and you cry, and you whine, or you hit walls, or whatever the fuck you do, to, you lose all it control. It just makes it worse. You lose all control, and you get fucked over ten times harder in the end than you would have. So what are you saying, dude? What what kind of advice can you give that cocksucker right there that's watching this video, or that bitch, or whoever's watching it, that's feeling sorry for herself and thinks they ain't got nothing in the world? What advice can you give them to get their shit together? Get it off your ass. Fucking do something. Quit whining and crying and go do something. If whatever the fuck you're whining and crying about, fix it your fucking self because no one else in this world is going to do it for you. And if you wait around for fucking somebody to come around and do it, then it's never going to happen. You're just going to fucking rot. There you go. Where did you learn all this, dude? My all right. Pete. Let me explain something. We got a situation. So. It's 317, and what, what are you doing tonight? I've got to run back home. That's right. Shower. There you go. Drop off the car seat. Exactly. Go to another job interview. There you go. And then i got to hit class. Well, you got to go to class tonight. Yeah. And what about your books? What about them? What about them? Don't you need to get books? Yeah, but I, I just, I'm good right now. I'm just waiting for that find it, that Pell You better not fuck up, dude. I'm just waiting for that Pell You better not fuck up. I'm good. I got friends in the classes that let me use their okay, shit. Okay, well, you better not be fucking up. So, you're going to get a... You're going to be working a part-time job because you realize you got to fucking work for something in life. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Don't fuck that up, okay? I'm not going to fuck anything up. So, the conclusion to all this is basically what Darren said. And if you didn't get it, maybe you ought to... Hit the rewind button and watch the motherfucker again. You saw what Darren looked like and how his attitude was in the beginning. Is it really worth the fucking hassle and the trouble to be the sorry piece of shit that you are? Because that's basically what you are, is a piece of shit. Until you drag your ass off the ground and out of the fucking hole and chisel the steps to climb out, you will never be nothing. That's right. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, with 903 Clown Guy Darren, hopefully not put, pulling a scam on my friend Pete and putting a sham over my fucking eyes. Well, look at this guy here.
Black Label Society. Are you fucking joking me? That's a fucking... That's that, a fucking band! I know, that's Zach Wilde. That's Zach Wilde, man. This guy's driving down the road with a Harley with a fucking black leather on with patches that says Black Label Society. Looks like an MC jacket with Black Label okay. Society. Okay, there you go. Why do you want to imitate somebody else when you're your own fucking person, bitch? I gotta go. DIY or die, motherfucker.